Welcome to this instructional video where we're, we're going to show you how to install a hard tonu cover. First we load it up onto the forklift. We got it on the wood brackets. We got to unscrew the brackets here using a drill. There's four connected to the tonu cover edges. Carefully remove that, lift it up with a forklift or put it on something. We kind of sped up the video to show you installation process. Now we're washing it, you know, to make it look good. You gotta clean it off, make sure there's no defects from the manufacturer. This is a Jason Hard Tonu cover, fiberglass and honeycomb composite. Lift it up on the forklift, it's all ready to go. We prep the bed with alcohol on the corners on the bed rails and on the bulkhead of the bed also on the tonu cover we prep the the rails with alcohol because we're about to lay down some bed tape in this case we we use the inch and a half by one eighth inch bed tape this per, uh, helps protect the bed and it uh, prevents from uh, water leakage around the edges you got to be careful lining this up and remember to take off the white uh, the white tape on the top because it does sink in and it, uh, over a period of time it, it kind of makes a water seal. Also on the back, on all three edges of the tonu cover. Now we take the forklift and have someone watch in the front to make sure it's being aligned correctly. This is a crucial part. Make sure all four corners look good. And uh, one very important thing is to make sure you can actually close the tailgate, as pictured here, where um, with the tonu cover shut. Because the last thing you want to do is bolt it down and then not be able to close the tailgate. So you got to make sure it fits good. You can run your hand um, underneath the edges like that to make sure there's a. Uh, there's not a there's an even gap on all edges. Next, we take C clamps with 916th bolt and we uh, clamp them down in four corners. Two on on either side as close as we get to the bulkhead, and two on either side as close as we could get to the tailgate. Um, on all four corners, the bolt goes down downward, opposite on camper shells. Next, you take an air ratchet or a ratchet of your choice and uh, zap it up, get it tight. You don't want to apply a lot of flex on the C clamp. It's not good for the bed. When there's flex on the bed, it can end up breaking it. I'll uh, break it, but it'll crack it. Clamp them down pretty good. And then, uh, this is a single man installation, so he's going to lift up the tonu cover with his feet. He's going to put the shocks in. They just clamp in. You might have to twist them a little bit to get the side right. Right like that. Now it's sitting up real nice. You can test it by closing the tailgate. They might need minor adjustments on the uh, locking mechanism or the brackets. Put the batteries in the light. Adjusting the locking mechanism bracket can uh, help from gaps on the side of the bed rail. Make sure that's all good and the, the rope is tight. You use an Allen wrench. Next thing you do, it looks all good. You're, you're ready to go. Make sure it opens and closes tightly. These uh, Visit, visit uh, PickupSpecialties.com or DiscountTruckAccessories.com to get yours. These go for around $600 plus for the fiberglass painted to match tonu covers. We sell a wide variety, around 50 different tonu covers. Closes real nice with a lock. <laughs>